What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mother's Day weekend, so I wanted to shout out to all the mothers out there. Kind of give you guys a little you know, pat on the back. You know, give your, give your mom some love for this whole earth, this, you know, Mother's Day weekend. I actually went and did something a little bit for my mom. She wanted a little Ford Ranger to try and haul her stuff around because... She's not a huge fan of driving our dually. Not bad for a free little truck. I'm Good. Runs real good. 152,000 miles. I was tooling down the road. <laughs> you you want to tell the audience about your new truck and your interior and everything else? Well, I kept telling my kids I wanted just a little truck. And I really didn't want to spend much money. And it just so happens that I work at a trade school. And the one of our instructors had brought a little truck in. And he didn't want it anymore. So I told him I'd buy it off of him, and he said I could have it. So I got the truck for free and brought it home, and we had to put new tires on it, and he did work on it, fixed it, got it all rolling. And, you know, I'm really excited about my bed shades here. I like the aesthetics of them you know, more than anything. And you know the wiper blades cost more than the whole truck. So we needed new seats because they were absolutely filthy beyond hope. So we went to the junkyard. Going, I don't know if you can hear me, but we're going to a junkyard. And we picked out seats that we liked and got some new visors and such. So we come home and I was running the extractor getting the smoke smell <laughs> out of the roof up here and cleaned up all the seats. And it's just a cute little truck for me. And all I plan on doing with it really is, you know, going to get my mulch or my rocks or my plants and it just keeps the mess out of my everyday car so I'm totally excited with it and I can't believe it's two-wheel drive because of how high it is I am not real tall and it's all I can do to crawl into this thing so we may <laughs> have to put a step on here for this old lady to climb up in it we'll throw it in park but, we'll hop out and they can see it with you yeah yeah you can see how, how tall <laughs> Let her fall out. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, Allie. I love my little truck. That's what matters most. <laughs> and we'll walk you guys around. This is the interior we put in it. This is out of a Explorer. I think it was a 99. So just little bucket seats. We made sure all the power was there. So I wired it all in so all the power seats work. I have the power port working on the side. Little console in here. Turned out really cool. And then we put little Tawny on it for. Obviously the new tires. Now the exhaust was falling off of it. Oh, and the tailgate was rotted, so I got that in the junkyard. Ironically, that matches the edge on the side. So screw it, it works. And I had exhaust parts laying around so we put a little exhaust on it just something cheap to get it by don't laugh at the tip that's what i had but yeah that's mama's little truck not bad for a free truck probably put eh, 800 bucks in it so 800 bucks for a little two-wheel drive truck that way she can enjoy our little potting shed that we put it back there that's something she always wanted and uh we made it happen for her and now she has a truck to haul all the stuff with it all right guys that was a quick once over oh shop lion uh, come here shelby 
So that was a quick once over just so you guys could see Mum's new truck. We didn't really give it a name and I, I really didn't even record much on it. Cause like it was nasty, it was filthy, I detailed it, but it was more cleanup than anything. But you know, just a quick little video for you guys what I'm doing on the side. Uh, give you guys an update on some of the other stuff going on in the garage. Currently working on getting this thing put back together. This is a navigator that we picked up. More to come on it later. But needless to say, it needed some work. But I couldn't beat it for what it was. Obviously, the 66 is still here. I got like 80,000 things going on in the garage with cleanup, moving around, organizing. I added this to my stable of tools, some other stuff. So just tons going on. And I got stuff in the works for the LTD. Life has just kind of gotten in the way on it. And I've been trying to get a whole bunch of other things done so that I concentrate solely on Uncle Buck to get it running right. Till the next one guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the short one cut. Here's a vehicle, here's what I did, call it a day. And it's just something light for you guys until I get some of these long form videos put out, including the big video that I'm working on. It's my QA1 suspension on the 66. So doing the best I can, but working full time and then trying to do things out here and trying to do family stuff. I just, time has not even on my side. Until the next one, guys, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the flip side. Say bye, Shelby. Mock. Oh, Mock's just looking flat. And there's Mock. Such a cutie. So, we went through. We got my mom that little ranger. Um, she ended up getting it for free. And I ended up doing a lot of work just fixing it up, trying to make it, you know, nice for her. And we are going to do something with Papa's truck. I don't know what yet, but... There might be things in the plans. But hopefully you guys enjoy this a little bit for my mom and uh, get to see her smile a little bit for this Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Slam dunk, are you ready to make my